Hi, and welcome back to the Mostly Mike Show. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw. I'll go over what comes in the box and show you some of the basics on how to set it up before use. We'll talk a little bit about the features and then we'll take Trail Force One out on a couple of my trails and use it to cut up some dead trees that were taken down by a recent windstorm. I had previously used the 40 volt Black & Decker saw and made a video a while back on how to make the batteries last longer. Well, the same rules apply to this and all battery chainsaws, so I'll include that link above and in the description below. You might be wondering why I opted to buy the DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw when I have the Black & Decker 40 volt. It all comes down to battery life and workload. Black & Decker batteries aren't cheap, and there's no super capacity options out there for bigger jobs. While the battery life is actually not too bad for the Black & Decker 40 volt hedge trimmer, those batteries will still be gamefully employed in my trail building gamut. That hedge trimmer works incredible for cutting briars and dense brush. Mention in the comments if you want to see the Black & Decker 40 volt hedge trimmer in action. Hey, speaking of that, how about giving this video one of these? The DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw is offered either a la carte or with the 5 amp hour battery and charger. I opted to get it with the battery and charger which can be used in all of the other DeWalt 20 volt tools in my growing collection. The saw only comes in one color scheme, ubiquitous in the DeWalt tools lineup, which will be sure to complement any decor. So let's see what's in the box. Got an instruction manual, got our battery charger. We got a 5 amp hour battery, which comes with one bar charge, so we're going to have to charge that up before we use it. And we have the saw itself. Looks pretty cool. First impression, that scabbard kicks ass. I mean, so many of these things are flimsy. This thing is the real deal. Contrary to pulling it out of the box and it catching, it actually seems like it's gonna stay on the saw pretty good. So on the side of the machine here, we have our chain oil. You gotta make sure that that's always filled. Uh, down below here, you can see kind of a gauge type thing to see how much is in it. Um, there's like a please add more oil line at the bottom. And when you flip that side up and turn Oh my gosh, from the factory, the thing actually comes pretty tight. I don't get that. Am I doing something wrong here? Is this some kind of a joke oil cap? Oh my, that thing's freaking tight. Okay, okay, there it goes. And you can see, like right there beyond my fingertip, is that little point sticking out. That point is so you feel the oil up until it just contacts it. And very similar to water displacement, this thing utilizes oil displacement technology. So if you fill it up past that pin, it's gonna cause it to overflow. And you just turn it clockwise about a quarter turn and snap the lock down. Okay, so the scabbard actually as I said earlier, really seems to be made tough. Um, the inside of it, you can see it's ribbed for your pleasure. And I don't know what else to say about it. I think the ribs are actually to retain it against the, the bar. Uh, you got a 12 inch bar. Um, here's your chain tensioner. You loose, use this to loosen the bar. Use this to tighten the chain. And what they want is about an eighth of an inch of play, which I guess if you pull hard enough, you're gonna get more than an eighth of an inch, but for all intents, that actually doesn't feel too bad right there. If you turn this away further, you can get inside and clean it. Um, what And my personal experiences on any of these chainsaws, if you want the batteries to last, you gotta keep this clean underneath. You get debris, like sawdust, you get, um, if you're cutting around a lot of brush, a lot of times the small twigs will get pulled down inside. And I found that that is a killer for batteries because they'll get hung up in here and it's just creating friction against the blade. So even if you're not cutting wood, it's actually still going to hang up the blade and can, or the chain and cause uh, premature battery loss. 
the cover seems like it's no joke either. Um, it doesn't feel chintzy like a lot of them that I've felt in the past. And believe me, I've felt a lot of chain covers. At any rate, let's uh, get this thing back on. Unlike my Black & Decker, the DeWalt is actually equipped with a blade brake. So what the blade brake does, if you were to, if the saw was to kick back or if it caught on something and, it, and the saw is coming back at your face, it's designed so that it hits the back of your wrist and it engages the brake. See? While the bar is compact and perfect for what I'm using it for, DeWalt calls it 12 inches. I know, I know, everyone lies about their size a little, and size isn't everything, but the actual usable bar length is just 10 and a half inches, which I'd be tickled if my, I opted to get the 12 inch, or should I say 10 and a half inch, because it's definitely less bulkier to tote on the back of Trail Force One, which if you're new here, Trail Force One is my trail building and repair emergency response and transport vessel. I have a whole playlist of Trail Force One videos which cover its introduction and all the upgrades. I'll put the link above and in the description below. So now we're going to take Trail Force One out on some of my trails so I can show you what this thing is capable of. Then you can say that you saw it here. Believe me, I hate to spoil the rest of this video, but the DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw performs as good or maybe even better than my jokes do, if that's even possible. I'm not going to showboat how long the battery life is on the DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw. There's many things that can skew the performance and battery life such as what kind of wood, the moisture content, the chain sharpness, and how hard you push the saw. And the list goes on and on and on. I'm just going to do some good old fashioned situational trail maintenance which will involve all the idiosyncrasies mentioned earlier on what affects performance from a battery life authority's perspective. I'm cutting some down trees, mostly dead ash trees killed by the emerald ash borer that came here from the folks who sent us stink bugs. Thanks to all those who are responsible, not. There's also some various trees that subsequently fell from the domino effect of the falling ash trees. Some of the things that I noted in the DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw's performance is that there seems to be adequate power in terms of torque, which allows it to cut faster if forced a little. Keep in mind though that forcing any battery saw has a dramatic effect on battery life. The solidness of the bar cover is definitely impressive, as well as its ability to stay on. I also noted that DeWalt spelled backwards as Telawed, which is super useful to know. Well, this is crazy. Might be able to just roll this, baby. We shall see. Oh, look at that. I'll be sure to include links in the description below for the saw as well as other things used in this video, from which I receive small commissions if you so choose to click the Amazon link and buy anything from Amazon within 24 hours after clicking. Even if you buy something totally unrelated to the contents of this video, such as preparation, please like, share, and consider subscribing if you're new here. Two number one, fixed. Now look at this disaster. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.